Hey everybody, we are back if you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon, that's Coco, click that subscribe button please, and if you're not new, thanks for coming back. Now today we have a haul video, a collection of stuff, really, we got some Sephora, we've got some Victoria's Secret, we got some Nordstrom's, we've got some stuff, just wanted to show y'all really quickly, this is one of the things, y'all know I love these shirts, and I'll be honest with you, the reason I love them is because this really sculpts your face, like, Look how my face looks sculpted, right? But if I pull it down, well, because I put my head up, so you could you could be like this, and nobody would know. Watch, nobody would know. Nobody would know. I mean, I don't walk around like that, but yeah, this is like it's like a. I thought it was a lot more pinky when I ordered it, but I do like these. I have what gray, black. I have a few of these. No, I have this one. So I like these, even though it's winter time. It's not winter time. It's summer. <laughs> Even though it's summer, I don't really, you know, I'm just in the house and it's cool in here. Anyway, let's start off with these two things because these are from Nordstrom and I have to shout out Leora because she posted about it on her Instagram stories and I ran to the website to get them. So big shout out to her. I got some Uggs. Y'all know I love Uggs. Let me get a brush. These were only $50. Normally they're a hundred. Yeah, they're purple. Normally they're a hundred dollars. I have the black ones. I have two different pairs of black Ugg slides, but I have those exact ones in black. I've also had them in pink before, but they are a hundred dollars. They were fifty dollars, fifty percent off. So then I also got another pair. They only had certain colors on sale. So, you know, but I, it, I didn't care because I like colors. I'm cool. I already have black. I don't need another pair of black. But if the black was $50, I would have bought them too. So then I got the hot pink, which this looks a little more purple on camera. Why does it look so purple? It's literally bright pink. What's, what's happening with this camera? Is it the lighting? It's got to be the lighting. Are you, you have no clue how pink this is. I want you to know this is pink. This is the brightest of pinks in the world. This is so not, why is there a purple? Why is there a purple undertone happening? I don't like that. It completely different. Okay, I'm gonna get irritated. But this, 50 bucks, dude. 50 mother effing dollars. And then I did get some more Ugg slides from Victoria's Secret when I did this order, but they're downstairs because I've been wearing them and they're so comfortable. I'll put a picture in here. They were $60. You cannot use Victoria coupon or Victoria's Secret coupons or anything like that on their Uggs products, but they were $60. They're extremely comfortable. And I will be honest, I actually get a lot of compliments from people when I wear those out, but they're so comfortable. Anyway. I'll put the picture, you saw the picture, you saw the picture. So, a little TMI. I use a cup when it's that time of the month and I generally don't need anything else, but I'll wear a liner just in case. I got this, it's a three pack of, um, you know, of these, it's a three pack and I'm not mad at them. They're actually really comfortable, I feel secure in them which I mean, I feel secure in general, but I feel secure. Now, if you wanna go wear tights, you're gonna see a line there, so that's not like the most ideal thing, but um, I will probably purchase more of these in the future. I also randomly got this. They had another bag, and it was cute. I mean, she was pretty, but she was expensive. How much was this? I don't, do I have a receipt? So this fanny pack was, the Live On Point belt bag, $21. She was cute. It was, what did they, were having some kind of sale. Why did I buy all this stuff? I don't even remember. This shirt, I only paid $14 for. I don't know how that happened because they're like $50. This, the Uggs shoes I just talked about were $55.65. The underwear were $15. This $21. And then I got a t-shirt that was 10 and I got some glasses that I'll show you and they were 11. I must have had like, I have like coupons and then they were having sales and stuff. But I was like, how stinking cute is this bag, dude? It's so cute. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna be able to fit in here. So even the inside is cute. You have this mesh, this, what am I doing? You have some little mesh pockets here. You have a key thing in the bottom. This, it's just cute. It's this cute rose mauve 
color. I don't know. I could fit my phone. Everything pretty much that I would need, I could fit in here. So I'm like, okay, cool. Why not? I got a t-shirt because I just felt like I wanted a t-shirt. I don't know. And it was probably, what I say? $10. So, you know, it's just, oh, it's like a purple, it's like a purpley blue. It's just a t-shirt with a pocket. That's all. And then I got these glasses because they popped up and it was like something you might like, right? And I'm like, oh, okay, those are super cute. And then I got them and I'm like, I don't know if I love them. And my husband was like, why'd you get those? Because they were cheap. <laughs> like, okay, asshole. Comes in a cute little pink bag that's black, but says pink. There's some little cat eyes. And I feel like the reason I don't actually love them on is because the cat part is small. It just looks kind of small. Does it look small? Does it look stupid? I only tried them on once. They don't look bad. They don't look bad. Do these glasses look good? Yeah. You like them? Yeah. Let me take this thing off. At first I didn't like them, but I think I do. Y'all, let me tell y'all while I'm struggling to take this thing off, let me tell y'all. So I met my neighbor's granddaughter. Super cute girl. She's like, I don't know. Probably she's 12. I think he told me she was 12. Anyway. So I meet her, she's cute, she's outside on her hoverboard looking at her phone, you know, riding around doing her thing, right? And uh, then a few days ago, I was, bless you Coco, I was talking to him and he was like, he was like, my, my granddaughter came to me and was like, did you know you live by a celebrity? And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, she said you were um, famous. And I was like, oh my God, that's like my, my youngest nephew thinks I'm famous. And I'm like, in the world of YouTube, I am so not famous like I am so not of of real importance to you know millions of people I'm a, I'm important I am worthy but I was just like celebrity famous that's that tickled me anyway I was just sharing because it it made my like it made my heart happy anyway let's let's try these back on again is this giving like LA vibes San Diego vibes it was from the the girl who's playing Little Mermaid on Disney I'm not mad at this does this look like, because normally I go with more larger squared shaped and not like this super cat eye, but I feel like I want to, you know, I want to step out and I want to try some new stuff. I'm not mad at this. She's cute. She's cute. I feel like my eyelashes are falling off because I never wear strip eyelashes. Oh yeah, Coco got that for her birthday. Look. I know a book. It's a book, but it's makeup. I feel like my lashes are falling off again. Dude, I'm struggling. I am struggling. I went and got my lashes done here, and it was so horrible. I wanted to cry. I couldn't even brush them. There was so much glue. When I went to go get my nails done, I was talking to the lady about lashes because she does lashes there. And um, she said that I needed to try to get them off and not get my lashes done for a while, that my eyelids were irritated. The place did it incorrectly. They got glue you know, on my lid and stuck like some of the lashes were stuck to my actual eyelid and it was just a bad situation. So I used some Milani face oil and I got those lashes off and now I'm working with some strip lashes so I don't look completely dead because I look completely dead. Some of my eyelashes, like sh when I got them done at the horrible place, which is like elegant brows or something in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Okay. Um, <laughs> she, didn't put the tape down enough and then she tried to open my eye and she ripped a bunch of lashes I literally screamed out oh, you're hurting me okay so that was traumatic anyway we got more stuff to do okay so we got a little sephora going on here we did get the little mini pat mcgrath that was 30 dollars. she's small y'all she is a mini she is a mini okay let's swatch her i haven't swatched her yet because i'm like Dude, we're spending, and I had just said this in my in my Ipsy video, $70 for that Bridgerton collab palette that was six eyeshadows, okay? Up to $125 for her mothership palettes. You get a huge amount of product, like more product than I would ever need, and I'm spending a lot more. I'd rather spend $30 and get what I'm actually going to use. So this is the top three. They are so creamy and I mean you can't get mad and say oh well it's so expensive no that the quality is there you know when you're getting Pat McGrath if somebody gave me a Pat McGrath palette to swatch or shadows and then a wet and wild shadows I would know the quality of the Pat McGrath was significantly better. I may not know that oh that's Pat McGrath because there are other um, products out there that are 
similar quality but I would know there's a significant difference between you know that lower end drugstore and this look at these shades that's the bottom row look at that look at that I didn't wear any eyeshadow today I wanted to go with like a simple look like full foundation coverage all of that but just no shadow um, I'm liking it. Next time I do my makeup though, I will try to make it a point to use that because she's pretty. I did use this, so I went and got that. Um, I got the, the mini size or the travel size of the tubing mascara from Tarte because Glamzilla used this. And I was like, what? So I didn't want to get the big one, so I got the smaller one for $15 because I'm like, mm. oh, I just want to try it out. I don't even want to wipe this. It's so beautiful. But I used it today. For me, my eyelashes are so sparse on the top now after years of getting them done and just that lady completely screwing them up. She asked me, do you like them? And I said, I'll be honest, I don't love them. And then I looked at her and I was like, I actually hate them. So anyway, um, I feel like it did help this bottom part, but I also feel like this is a spinoff from those Asian, Chinese uh, mascaras, Korean mascaras, Japanese mascaras that leave the fibers. I feel like this is what that is. I didn't buy the rest of the stuff I'm gonna show you, but I did them as add-ons. And you know when you order from Sephora, and they recently had free shipping too, but when you order from Sephora, you can add two items for free, right? So this is something I added for free. Um, bre I don't know what the hell that word is. I'm not gonna try to say this word. I don't know this word. But it's a shampoo and conditioner and it's um, don't despair, repair. So it's a repairing shampoo and conditioner. I was like, okay, that's cool, I'll try it. And then I got this just because it is herbivore pink cloud. It's just a moisturizer. Then I turned in a bunch of points. So I got some glow recipe stuff here. I got, what is this? Try our best selling duo for hydration and glow. It's a brightening serum and a pore tightening toner. Then I got some stuff from Drunk Elephant. This is Proteiny Power Peptide Resurfacing Serum and then some kind of cream, I don't know. But it's a little duo that I got. And then I got this one, it's 25% AHA, 2% BHA, chickpea flower, I don't know, it's some kind of baby facial, but I grabbed this. I like to have things like this to either try to see if I like them, if I wanna buy the full size product, or if we're going on a trip, I can bring something like this. They're really small, they fit right in my bag. I don't have to bring my big container or my big bottle of toners or whatever. So I do like these, although I hope we're not going on any trips anytime soon. My husband was like, did y'all wanna go with us to New York? I was like, hell no I don't. And now I'm really glad we didn't go because it is pouring pouring rain anyway i think that's all i got i do have a bath and body video to film why do i say that so slow i don't know i do have a huge huge bath and body haul to film like huge but i don't know if i'm gonna get to that today i might do it later because i'm feeling after drinking <laughs> after drinking this Trenti size, which you can only get these cups for like the teas and refreshers or whatever. Uh, after drinking this, I'm feeling very, I'm feeling very energized. I'm feeling so energized. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all, Pancake is getting so many likes on Instagram Reels. It's crazy. Go and I'll go be our friend on Instagram. I feel like I could actually use another one of those coffees. Let's end this because I am, <laughs> I am talking a lot. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell, and all those good things. Oh, too heavy. Too heavy. So, what was that? Oh, that was all your brushes just fell. Walk. Oh, walk. There, that's the camera. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you something, okay? Um, I drank that coffee. <laughs> I drank that coffee! Mommy. Oh! <laughs> yes, you scared me. You scared me, Yabir. We need to detangle your hair. Because I need to take a bath too. You need to take a bath too? Yeah, well, I want everyone to take a bath in your Because I Why? My bathtub is pretty what big. Is that, Coco? <laughs> oh, she said, What's on your neck? You notice Coco got a necklace? My bathtub in my bathroom is huge, so they like to all take a bath together, and they fit pretty well. Four kids, that's a tight, that's a tight squeeze, and there's some fighting. But three kids, that's we can do that, y'all. 
Look at Bob. Bob, Bob's had some issues. Bob's got a floppy thing. Coco actually loves Bob. What's his name, Coco? Bob. Bob. What's his last name? Bob. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Where did this much hair come from? Oh my God. Dude. I did not even tell y'all, I got my Christmas tree in. I'm doing a collab with Kings of Christmas who sell Christmas trees. Generally, I don't ever do collabs on Instagram, ever. Two years ago, I tried to get a collab with them when I was actually trying to do things on Instagram and I didn't get it. This year, I finally got it. They, they emailed me, asked me if I wanted to do a collab with them. They sent me this beautiful Christmas tree. And I feel like the reason I said yes, I mean, we have a few Christmas trees already. Y'all know I have a Christmas tree for the makeup room already anyway. Um, but I feel like the reason I said yes to this and I hate collabs and I definitely don't do Instagram collabs is just to say I finally got it. You know, something that I had been working for I got that shit. I need to slow down on the coffee. Slow down. Ooh, I kind of want some more. Why am I so hyper right now? Because I had so much coffee. One necklace. What? Do you got a necklace? How no? Yeah. Yeah, you want a necklace. Necklace. You want a necklace? Yeah. Mama will get you a, a necklace. New one. Coco be getting a little attitude I'm sometimes. So mad. Why are you so mad? No, Yaya. Oh, Yaya's mad because she don't have a necklace. Oh, come here, Yaya. Say hi to everybody. Yaya has her shirt on backwards. Oh, there we go. Hi. Okay, this is it. Let's end it. I need to get more coffee. I need to stay hyped up so I can get work done.